All right, so introducing kind of uh, do-it-yourself kits. So here's the kit, and the kit will come with your blade, your beast gear and cover, plastic blade, a artwork with adhesive pre-applied. It'll come with your finishing screws, your painting screws, an Allen key, and then your wiring. So let's kind of just go over what this is. So like this is a, it just comes with a layer only, nothing else. Because I get the, I'll source the layers, I'll modify the layers, and you're paying for that. So uh, we got our layer, our three screws, our three longer screws, our piece, and then the artwork. Um, it's like an artwork pad. I would say it's it's a waterproof pad. The artwork on it is random. You're not really getting it for the artwork. You're going to put your artwork on it if you happen to uh, make your own. So on the back of it, you can see there are paint, uh, tape strips. And what you're going to do, let me get a piece of art. What you're going to do is when you print out your own artworks, so like let's say I printed this one out, I bought this kit, I printed this out on my own. This does not come with art. You would take that and you would apply that to this. Now that gives you the correct way to install your piece. Now, if you're reusing this color, this gold, let's say, you would just apply that decal on top of your, uh, you would, you would not put the, your sticker on mine and you would just apply it directly to this. Now, if you're going to paint this, you're going to need to remove it. So you're going to get a defense driver or stamina bit, you know, a bit, push that through and I'll pop that open and then you're just going to peel this away. And now you can paint this. And kind of the artwork kind of stays okay, but for the most part, it's kind of garbage. So, you would paint that. And then you would get your finished piece. We're just going to peel this back. I can even get it. Peel both of these off. Try my finger. All right, yeah. Peel both of those off. Grab your artwork in between, and we're gonna line it up on here. Line it up, and then firmly press down. And now you got your new artwork with the correct uh, way to mount it. So you just put that all back together with your artwork, and you put your finishing screws finishing screws on these ones and then you're done so if you're going to paint it I would recommend getting something to grab right here and you'll paint it and then same for this when you paint this you're going to want to get something that grabs on the bottom and maybe even cover this with tape and then paint it you don't really want paint on this area and then when you're painting this you will use your painting screws. It's just these longer screws. And you'll hand thread them in all the way down. It has to be all the way down because you can end up damaging the Beyblade if you do not do this. So make sure it goes all the way down. Not doesn't have to be tight, it just needs a bottom out. So we're putting all those on. And when they're bottomed out, they should not be loose. Now we're going to get our wire from the kit. You're going to put your finger right here. I can do it in this little area. Put your finger on this piece, like, like right here. Put that on top. You're going to rotate that around. Make a nice little hook. 
and then go around here, go around here, and then you're going to go through, come back, and then go through one more time, and that gives you your up top part. Make this center as best you can, make your hook on top like that, and now you can hold it and paint it, right? So that's how you would paint it without, without getting any fingerprints or anything like that. So you, you know, spray like that, flip it over, spray it, and then let it dry by hanging it. Um, when you're done, you will take this out, trying not to screw up your paint by scratching it. Unwind your screws. And you can use your wire for later. Remove your screws. And then you can go ahead, and if this is cured, you go ahead and assemble your Beyblade. We're going to put all of our pieces together. Line this up. And then get our finishing screws. When you're using your Allen key, make sure that it's fully seated into that screw when you're tightening it. It's going to bottom out. You're going to take, once you bottom out, you're going to take this and go to this side. Make sure you are straight and you're going to tighten it slightly. You're just going to kind of lock it in because all you're doing is you're spreading the threads to make it locked in so that it doesn't come out in play. So you're going to spin that on there. You're gonna bottom out, go back, and then lock it in. But don't go too far, you will strip out the screw and you will not be able to open up the Beyblade again unless you somehow get it out and get a new screw. So put that on, get it all the way down, and then of course make sure everything is pushed in before you tighten, and then tighten. And now we're done, that's not coming out. That is a finished Beyblade. It's Leon Wing, because so, that makes sense, but yeah. So you get your custom artwork, maybe you want it to be Strikehawk or a different Phoenix. You can get that done and then get that applied. The stickers are 63 by 63, so 0.63 by 0.63, very small. And you just cut it out and you're good. Now disassembly, we're going to remove this, do it the opposite way, and let's say you want a new artwork, a lot of times the, the, the little piece that I gave the artwork uh, pad is pretty reusable. So you're going to stick this guy in here. You saw that the Takara Tani one kind of bent and got damaged, where this one really doesn't. So we're going to go ahead and take that off, do it slow, and now your puck is still okay. You want to get some kind of uh, wax paper. You'll be able to put that down without having to worry about it. And you can rip that artwork back up usually. It's a little difficult, but it can be done. So you remove that artwork, and then this is still reusable. This is a, it's kind of like a, like a vinyl so it doesn't really tear. So now that I removed that artwork, this is garbage because now it's no longer sticky. You can see that the hell scythe that was there is now gone. And then you can reuse this for a new artwork. Or you can buy a new artwork puck or pad or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. So that's our DIY kits. And that's just comes like this. Same thing, blade, be, blade, beast gear, plastic, everything that you would need to do the job. 
Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I will slowly start releasing different models. So right now it's going to be Feather and it's going to be Wing. And then I will make the other ones available that people can just buy if they wanted to make their own stuff. Uh, they're still expensive, but not as expensive as my stuff that you would get already pre-painted. But certain things like this, I'm not ripping the paint off. That is your job to do. It's why it's do it, do it yourself. You will take this, you'll have to strip all this paint off, and then you'll have to repaint it. So, uh, Subscribe if you want to see more content uh, and maybe new releases and all that kind of stuff. We are coming up with some new stuff pretty soon. And then, yeah, see you guys later.